Dangers of Celebrating Halloween. Let's get into the Word of God. Today we'll be looking at Ephesians 5 verses 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. So we're looking at the dangers of celebrating Halloween. And why is Halloween bad? Some people say it's not bad. Some people say, you know, it is, you know, it is what it is. You know, but God says, you know, what uh, have fellowship with light with darkness and Halloween is a dark holiday. Halloween is they try to make it now, you know, like like this Halloween. They try to make it like more like for the children and they put the fairies in and they put in the um, they try to lighten it up. But you cannot lighten up darkness. Darkness is darkness and light is light. And. You know, you have to be so um, careful because you cannot eat at the devil's table and not expect, you know, the repercussions of eating at the devil's table. The Bible says in Ephesians 5 verses 11, and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness. And Halloween is a dark, a, a dark, um, a dark day. In fact, when it's getting, you know, I've always noticed in October, at the ending of October, there is like a lot of, um, a lot of things go on right now there's a, has been a lot of kidnappings and the children most of the times you find them die because there's a lot of child sacrifice around this time around this time you have to hold if you have kids if you have grandkids you have to hold them near and dear to your heart because this is a time of great darkness On Halloween night, adults and children dress up as creatures from the underworld, ghosts, ghouls, zombies, witches, wizards, fairy, goblin, etc. Because the um, the agenda of the enemy is to bring the thing to the children to start in when they're young. So they, uh, Halloween now is uh, more so for the kids, you know, the little children dressing them up. But you, you cannot... You, you cannot try to hold up something that is dirty, that has its origin in dirty. You know, even the church say, oh, we have our own stuff. But, you know, it is, you know, what it is. You cannot, Halloween is not about um, praising God. Halloween is a high holy day of the devil. You know, and around this time here, you see, as I said before, there's a lot of killing. There's a lot of child sacrifice. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in Halloween, the time before Halloween, and even a few days after Halloween. And their goal is to get it to the children. Because if you get them when they're young, they're going to grow up and they're going to continue the same pattern. So they, they, try to, they, they try to clean it up, but it is still dirty. You cannot clean up. You you cannot clean it up. It's still Halloween. It's still ghosts. It's still witches. It's still goblins. It's still fairies. It's all all these things. All these things are demonic. All these things are demon. So there's no way that you can clean up a demon. A demon is a demon. You could you 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 could call it whatever you want to call it, but it is a a demon still. So the modern um, celebration of Halloween may appear, as I said, appear on the surface to be quite harmless, but the spiritual implication of dabbling with the spirit world are extremely serious. Fortune telling, Ouija board, astrology, voodoo, clairvoyance, black magic, occult, Satanism, all these things, you know, we have to be, God has called us to be wise as um, serpents and harmless as dove. And mixing with these things have consequences that can last us a lifetime. So we have to be careful, especially uh, around this time. Halloween, it looks harmless, but it's not harmless. It is not at all harmless. You know, Halloween now looks, you know, it looks harmless, you know. But the spiritual implications 
of dabbling, you know, with the um with the witches, the wizards and all these things can, you know, last you a lifetime, you know. Sin is like weight. Sin is like, you know, easy to get into and hard to get out of. It's like, you know, you eat the stuff and you gain the weight and then to get the weight off, it's 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 a whole different ball game. So you don't want to be, you know, mixed in and dabbling with stuff because, you know, it says here, modern celebration of Halloween may appear on the surface to be quite harmless, but the spiritual implications are extremely serious. And we're going to be looking at uh, those spiritual implications, what what it does when you celebrate um, the stuff, when you buy the witches, the wizard, and you put all these things on your doors and all these things. It says here, some... Popular decorations for homes are the jack-o'-lantern, the scarecrow, the witches, the skeleton, spiders, pumpkin, mummy, vampires, and other scary creatures. When you put these things in your home, these things um, have demons attached to them. And, we, you know, <coughs> unless... <coughs> unless God has gifted you with the eyesight to see, you're not going to see it, but it is there. You know, the, um, the pumpkin, you know, um, you know, t tomorrow is Halloween. Today is, um, October the 30th. Tomorrow's October the 31st. And you will see people put these things up and it, it appears, it appears on the surface to be harmless. It appears. It says, there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are ways of death. It appears harmless. It appears that it doesn't do nothing. Oh, why Why can't I Why can't I go to a party dressed up as a witch, a goblin, or one of these things, or not even a witch or a goblin, but like, um, like something even lighter, like a fairy or something. Like I said, it appears harmless. But the... Um, but the repercussions is extremely dangerous and you don't want to you don't want to mix and you don't want to meddle and you want to you want don't want to dabble because it open it opens you up and then when it opens you up you know it opens you up for demonic stuff See, as I said before, you know, Halloween is, you know, they do the sacrifices. They sacrifice animals. They sacrifice crops. And there's also human sacrifices are made to appease supernatural powers. So even now you see um, the little girl, they sacrifice the little girl. Um, They found the little girl uh, dead. I'm not even, because... Yeah, okay, just now because there's a lot of um there's a lot of child sacrifice going on now because they have to appease the um supernatural powers and they also get powers, especially when they kill those little innocent children, they get more supernatural powers. And you know, so we wanna um the Bible said in thy light we shall see light. We wanna um speak light on the situation because a lot of times people say, Okay, don't do it, but why shouldn't we not do it? What is the reason that we shouldn't celebrate the Halloween? Why is the reason that we shouldn't let our children go trick or treating and all these things? Because there's a spiritual side and the spiritual side of these things far away the physical stuff. Because the spiritual side, you need deliverance. If a demon comes in, you need deliverance. No doctor or no, you can't counsel out the demon. You cannot give a demon a um a a pill or something. No, you need deliverance. You need deep deliverance too. Halloween is a high holy day of the devil. As I was saying before, they sacrifice animals, crops, and even they even do human sacrifice to um to appease supernatural powers or sometimes they do the human sacrifices to get supernatural powers you know so we want to be alert and we want to stay vigilant today on this occasion it was believed that the gathering of supernatural forces occur as during no other period of the year so um in october the end of october you know like the like the the October and even into like November is the gathering of supernatural forces as no other time of the year. So you see, not only in America, but you see in other parts of the world, it's a lot of people dying, and it's just a lot of stuff be going on now until whenever it comes to an end. 
and the you know it is it's the it's a um it's the day the eve uh t- today's the eve and tomorrow's halloween are characterized as a time when the barrier between the human and the such a supernatural world is broken otherworldly entities such as souls of the dead were able to visit earthly inhabitants and human could take opportunity to p- penetrate the domain of the god and supernatural creatures so that's why they do the sacrifice they're going to do the animal sacrifices and people they don't tell us these things on the news they're going to do the um the crops they're going to do the human sacrifices to appease the supernatural powers and also for them to attain power you know halloween is a is a is a dark time this time here is a dark time until it comes to an end and i don't know when it comes to an end but it does come to an end So this is a time of supernatural powers in nature. This is a time, you know, to, you know, people use this time to control because right now, tomorrow, today is 67 degrees and tomorrow is going to be 71 degrees. It says here, Halloween was thought to be the most favorable time for defecation. Um, concerning marriage, luck, health, and death. It was the only day in which the help of devil was invoked for such purposes. So to, um, tomorrow, which will be Halloween, will be a time of them. Tomorrow is going to be a very um, demonic, a, a demonic day. A lot of evil stuff are going to be happening tomorrow, October the 31st. So we're not, now we're going to go looking at... Um, celebrating halloween what does it do what is it open halloween celebrating halloween opens the door to demonic possession when you when you put on the witches and the wizard because the, even the Bible say, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And now they glorify the witch. They glorify the wizard. They glorify the magic. You know, I have small kids. Most of the, um, most of the, um, most of the shows, they have magic in it. Very few of the kids show don't have the children doing some kind of magic. They're, um, Sophia the first had Cedric. Cedric is a wizard. Elena of Avalor have Matteo. Matteo is a wizard. They have the so they condition us with these with the magic. So when you see it now, you're already being conditioned, you know. But these things open the door to demonic possession because on the TV they cast spells. Um, Cedric did spells to Sophia. Sophia herself did a lot of um magic. I'm talking about Sophia the first if you have children or grandchildren and they watch the show on Disney. Oh my Lord, Disney. We're not even going to get into that. So it opens the door for demonic possession because when you when you wear those things and you put it on yeah you look nice you dress up you know and you look nice and you look but it opens you up to demonic possession and even if there's not demonic possession there's demonic oppression that that's why you know a lot of times people suffer with a lot of stuff but then they open the door and when that door is open that door you just can't close that door like that it's not like a physical door where you open it, you close it. You have to pray, you have to fast, and you have to get deliverance. Because once that door is open, it's open. And only God can close that door. You cannot close that door. You cannot go like a physical door and close it. God needs to close that door that you have opened through um through ignorance you know because you say oh it's harmless it is not harmless it doesn't do nothing yes it does you don't see the stuff you do you don't see what happened in the spiritual realm because we are physical beings unless god open your eyes to see what um the implications are every year i have to tell my children we do not celebrate Halloween. We do not every year. Children come knocking on the door. Every year you watch on TV. There's always one case of some someone open up some candy. They found the needle in it. Somebody opened some candy or they found something that was not supposed to be in the candy. You go to strange people's house. You don't know what you don't know what people do. People can pray over that candy and give it to you. You don't see the, the, the stuff. People can do demonic um demonic prophecy on that candy and you take it and you eat it and your life is a mess and people wonder why their life is a mess because you open the door but unlike uh, a physical door it cannot be closed just by you oh i closed the door no 
It's going to take some prayer. It's going to take some fasting. And it's going to take God to close that door. Only God can close those doors when you open it. And last but not least, um, celebrating Halloween opens. The, it, there's an increase in the demonic activities. You know, like I said, this is like the high holy day of the devil. There's child sacrifice, there's animal sacrifice, there's a lot of sacrifice being made for people to get power and to gain um, stuff from the evil world. This is tomorrow, is a very demonic day. Tomorrow is a time for you just to cover yourself under the blood and be watchful and be mindful of you know tomorrow you have to be ready you have to be ready and you have to be alert tomorrow october the 31st 2019 halloween it is not happy halloween it's not Several ancient Halloween practices still exist in modern observances. Bobbin for apple. Bobbin for apple was originally a form of designation fortune telling to learn the future of marriage. The first person to bite an apple was predicted to be the first to marry in the coming year. The jack o' lantern represents a watch a watchman on Halloween night, or a man caught between earth and the supernatural powers. So you see these things, you know, even though they still do them, you know, the like the bobbing for apples, you know, whoever first buys the apple was going to say the first person that um was going to get married in the co- in the coming year and the um the jack o' lantern was the the man that was caught between heaven and earth. He couldn't go to hell because he made a deal with the devil. So he couldn't go to hell, but he couldn't go to heaven either. So he was caught between um he was he was left on earth. He was left on earth because he, he couldn't go to hell and he surely couldn't go to heaven. So he was left on, you know, the, in the, the middle part, he was left on earth. Although uh, many people dismiss the demonic symbol, the symbol, the symbolism, and the designation associated with ha- Halloween as harmless fun. Oh, it's just fun. Oh, I'm just. But you don't understand. It is not harmless fun. You don't understand when you put on all those things. The origin of it. You just put it on, and you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're opening up yourself to, and when you open up yourself. Only deliverance can get them out. So you open yourself and you open that door. Now, you personally, because you've opened that door, oh, it's harmless fun. You're going to dress as a witch. You're going to dress as a ghost. You're going to, it's harmless. And that's what they tell you. It's harmless fun. But it's not harmless fun because it opens you up to demonic possession. You go to sleep the night or the other night and you see you start having bad dreams. Like, where did that come from? It came from when you was dressed as a witch. You 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 see now you have anxiety. Where did it come from? It came when you was dressed as a ghost. You, you seen all kind of stuff them manifesting itself now, and you're not making the correlation. It came from all of that harmless fun where they were saying it is harmless, harmless fun, harmless fun. Harmless fun, but that harmless fun has some serious repercussion, and those repercussion, uh, it cannot be counseled out. It has to be. It has to be cast out. You have to be delivered. Leviticus uh, 19 verses 31 says, Give no regard to a medium and a familiar spirit. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. You know, as a loving father, God commands us to avoid things that can harm us, you know. It, on, on Halloween, it, it can harm you when you're dressing up as a witch, a wizard, a ghost, a goblin, even the, the lighter stuff. It, it can harm you. And the thing is, a lot of times people say um, it's harmless because we cannot see what it does in the spiritual realm. We cannot see what dressing up as a ghost, a goblin, putting your children in those things, what it does. But then you see after you celebrated Halloween, after you've eaten the candy and all those things, you see, you know, Billy now acting up. And you don't know why Billy acting up. you having bad dreams. And you don't know why you're having bad dreams because you've opened the door. 
and if sometimes you 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 cannot um maybe the demon cannot possess you so now it oppresses you how it oppresses you it oppresses you with fear with demonic nightmares with night terrors with all kind of stuff anxiety panic attack because you open up yourself because what you thought was harmless and what was funny was not harmless and it was not fun because God says do not do not regard them that have a familiar spirit and do not seek after them and you thought okay it's harmless and they, oh girl let's go to the party I'm gonna dress up you're gonna dress up it's harmless you know and what often we yeah. say is harmless um because we cannot see in the spiritual realm opens the door it opens the door to demonic possession oppression it opens the doors and those doors cannot be closed you have to be delivered you know in addition to the commandment of god also commanded us to avoid practices with evil spirit you know god warned israel in the bible that they should not be found any among you who practices witchcraft or suit slayer, or none that interprets omen, or a sorcerer, or one who conjure up spells, a witch, or a medium, or a spiritualist, or he who um, calls up the dead. For all who do these things are abomination to the Lord. Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 to 12. So God said, you know, you shouldn't do these things, but yet, like simply Sophia the first, Sophia in the first day do all those things. Sophia be speaking to Snow White, Cinderella, uh, Belle, the little um Ariel, the little mermaid. Sophia the first, um, Elena of Avalor. Elena be speaking sometimes to the dead mother, the day of the dead when they celebrate the day of the dead, and they they just um bunch of wickedness, but they're already conditioners, and these are show um that are specifically for little children. Sophia the first, Elena of Avalor. One time we was watching, I think it was Craig of the Creek. I'm not really sure. And the little and the and the little girl went to a witch and the witch said to her, Who do you want us to kill? And she said, Well, I don't really want you to kill them. I just want you to cast a spell. Okay, we could cast a spell. What are you gonna give us? These are all shows to little children. I, I'm not really sure if it was Craig of the Creek. And I was like, What? I couldn't I couldn't believe it. But these are the things they have that are um, aimed at the children now. You know, God calls us to a higher standard. God calls us to a higher standard and to higher higher levels. And God does not want us to celebrate Halloween. Nor God does not want us to have an alternative to Halloween. Because when you have the alternative, you make the children feel like they're missing out on something. That they're missing out on all the fun. You know, God... You know, God does not want us to do these things. God alone is the giver of life and all good things, you know. God does not want us to recognize Halloween. He does not want us to recognize none of these demonic holidays. It's demonic. They may try to put it simply and dress it up, but it is what it is. It is demonic. Let's call a dog a dog and a cat a cat. It is demonic. And why people say it's harmless because we don't see. We don't see in the spiritual realm the doors them that we open. And these doors can only be closed by prayer and fasting and deliverance they're not going to be closed by you just closing it and just saying some simple prayer it doesn't work like that you know it is easy to get into but it's hard to come out of sin it's easy you just open the door but it's hard most of the times you need deliverance and you need deep deliverance to get out of some of the things that you thought were harmless it was just harmless fun no it wasn't so now we're gonna um go ahead and we're gonna pray Heavenly Father, God, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. We thank you, God, for delivering us from every form of um the flesh, every work of the flesh, God. We thank you, God, for delivering us from every form of witchcraft, God. We thank you, God, for delivering us from the witches, the wizards, the ghouls, the goblins, the ghosts, God. We thank you, God to delivering us from everything that opens us up to demonic oppression and possession, God. We thank you. 
We thank you, God, for deliverance today, God. Not tomorrow, but today, 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 today. And as they're going to go celebrate Halloween tomorrow, we pray that you cover us under your blood. You cover us. You cover our children. You cover everyone that concerns us under the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We release the power of the blood of Jesus. The blood prevails. The blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus is stronger. The blood of Jesus is stronger than the principalities and power. The blood of Jesus. Jesus is stronger than the spirit of witchcraft. The blood of Jesus is stronger than every other force that will come against us right now, God. And we take authority over them, God. You said it is written in Luke 10 verses 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Heavenly Father, God, we cover ourselves again under the blood of Jesus. We cover our doorposts and possession under the blood of Jesus. We cover our children children under the blood of Jesus. We cover our household under the blood of Jesus. We cover every member of our family, God, and our extended family under the blood of Jesus, God. And we repent right now for celebrating Halloween, God. We repent for doubling in the in the occult, God. We repent. We repent for Reading the horoscope, God, we repent. We repent for the um, Ouija board, God. We repent, God. We repent for um, reading and the times and the observer of times. We repent. We repent right now for everything that we have done that was contrary to you, God. You said in thy light we shall see light, God. And we repent, God, for dabbling in darkness, God. You said that we should have no, for what all right had light with darkness, God. We repent for mixing and meddling and dabbling in darkness, God. We we repent, we repent, we repent, we repent in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we ask you, Lord God, to forgive us right now and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You said, let God arise and let the enemies be scattered. Oh, Lord God, let every enemy of our break should be scattered right now. God, we repent, we repent, we repent. And we ask you, God, to clean us and wash us up, clean, create in us a clean heart, oh, Lord and renew it in us a right spirit. Take other things in us that will cause us to perish and decay and grant us everlasting life. Heavenly Father God, we come before you repenting, God. Repenting of dabbling in darkness. We repent for watching the shows with the witchcraft. God, it, it is so prevalent right now, God. You turn on the TV, all the kids' shows, they do some form of magic, practicing sorcery, witchcraft, divination, calling upon the dead we repent right now we repent and we ask you to forgive us god we ask you to cleanse us and we ask you to wash us in your blood god and we thank you lord we thank you jesus and we ask you lord god to help us today god help us today help us tomorrow and help us forevermore god we repent god we repent jesus and we repent holy spirit of god and we thank you god you said call upon me and i will answer thee and we come we call upon you today and we ask you god to forgive us lord to forgive us and to cleanse us and to cover us under your blood as we're entering into the um the high holy day of the devil we ask you god to cover us under your blood we ask you to protect us god from every child sacrifice god every animal sacrifice god and to cover us under your blood and to practice god put a hedge of protection around us tomorrow october the 31st 2000 and 19 god not only put a hedge of protection around us put a hedge of protection around everything that concerns us put a hedge of protection around our household and cover us under your blood as we send on exodus 12 13 and the blood should be upon the token of the houses where you are and when i see the blood i will pass over you we release the power of the blood of jesus right now god and we cover ourselves we cover our dopers we cover our possession we cover our kids we cover our love or we cover everything that concerns us right now under the blood of jesus let god arise and let the enemies be scattered let every enemy of our progress let every enemy of our breakthrough let every enemy of our lives be scattered today 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 in jesus name we pray amen Amen.